good morning. Welcome to Prayers That Light Our Path on this beautiful Saturday morning. You know, today is the day that we have the opportunity to be with other Methodists throughout the, the state of Arkansas at our annual convention. This year, because of COVID, we're doing it a little differently. We're doing it all online. It's going to be a great experience. I'm looking forward to hearing the worship that we will be doing as we transcend these next few hours and all the news that the bishop has to bring us as to the year's plans for all of us as <clears throat> members of the United Methodist Church. You know, we've talked every morning about various things and but I think the, the thing I want to talk about this morning is the Bible itself. You know, yesterday I was reading some some stories to some of our children at Mill Creek and you know, I read stories like David and Goliath. I read stories like Samson. I read stories like Noah when he built the ark. I read stories about Adam and Eve. I read stories about God and how He created this beautiful earth that we live in. And you know, it couldn't help, I couldn't help but be reminded that there are so many stories of heroes and heroines and miraculous things in the Bible. It's, it's just an awesome adventure to sit down and to read those passages and to daydream about those passages. The Bible also gives us a direction. It tells us what the Bible does for us. And that verse comes from 2 Corinthians 3, 2, and it says, Ye are our epistle, written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Y'all, there's so much comfort that can come from reading that Bible every day. We've talked about the revival that we need in our country and it has to start with us as children of God. It has to start with us reading that Bible every morning, taking heed to what the instructions are in that book, going to the Lord in prayer, being obedient, maintaining our faith, having the strength to do what God wants us to do. And all that can be done easily by just taking a few minutes every day to pray. To pray for God to maintain your faith, to give you the strength. It's not hard. All you have to do is go to Him. And He will give you the strength that you need. He will give you the strength to be able to transcend all those stories in the Bible and to create our own story. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, Your Word is a light that guides us to righteousness. It contains wonderful poetry and, and soul-stirring songs and wonderful stories of heroes in faith, excitement, adventure, I marvel at its miraculous events that is portrayed in those pages, almost beyond what we can possibly comprehend. Each day of reading the Bible is a new adventure, and it's a wonderful journey for us to take. Father, we pray that we will always have a sense of wonder when we read your word that it will always be fresh and will always illuminate our life and light our path. We pray that we will read your word, that we will contemplate your message, and that we will keep it in our minds throughout each day. Father, thank you for giving us all that you give us. Thank you for being patient with us as children. Thank you for your mercy. Most importantly, Lord, thank you for your forgiveness for my sins and all of our sins. Father, we love you.
In your name this morning we pray. Amen. I can't tell you, you have to witness it for yourself. The excitement of reading those stories is beyond comprehension. Always remember God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday.